Well, enough about me. Let's go meet the stars of the show. <laughs> Well, here we are back in my dressing room. A lot of people wonder what it's like to be, to have a dressing room in Las Vegas. Well, this is, this is mine. One of the characters that I have in the show, his name is Julius. And he is, um, he is a, a, the only black character that I have in the show. And I wanted somebody that, that was very classy. You know, every time I see a ventriloquist and they create a character, uh, that's a black character, it's always got to be like a, some, some kind of a negative stereotype. And I thought, you know, let's do a positive stereotype. Let's do a, uh, a Louis Armstrong or a Nat King Cole. Now, originally I wanted to do a Nat King Cole, but I couldn't afford it. So I had, uh, so I, I bought this puppet. It was kind of off the shelf. Steve Axtell sells these, and, you, and if somebody wants one, they can, they can buy one. But uh, I actually made the suit for him. But so he, he kind of looks more like Louis Armstrong, which was not my original vision for for uh for julius but as we see well thank you so much my name is julius so this was the original julius yeah so tell me what is your favorite holiday it's a day after thanksgiving what day is that black friday okay well anyway so that's <laughs> that's julius so he had that kind of gruff voice but that was not what my original uh, vision for julius was that's right it was not no so i created that character the voice because that's the way he looks he has that louis armstrong kind of look so what I ended up doing once I started uh, started at the Mirage, I was able to hire a company called Puppet Heap, who works with the, the uh, Henson people, Jim Henson people, and I was able to get my original vision, which was more of a, how are you doing? I'm, I'm Julius. So this is the, the what I originally wanted when I created Julius. That's right. He wanted somebody smooth that could sing. That's right. Can you sing for us? You bet. I've been really trying lately, trying to hold back this feeling for so long. <laughs> so, so that's what I wanted Julius. That's right. He wanted somebody smooth and handsome. <laughs> so anyway, so this was what Julius ended up being after I uh, was able to use that Julius. And I was very happy with him, but he was off the shelf. And there were there are hundreds of those around the world. People, have, hundreds of people have bought him, but uh, this is the only Julius like this. That's right. It looked like Nat King Cole, smooth and silky. What, I don't even know what that means. Neither do I. Okay. <laughs> I feel like this is kind of a, a, a shrine to to puppeteering and to great artistry, and I feel very comfortable here. This is where I spend my time uh, before and after shows, and as you can see, it's quite comfortable. 